So Lee Walker, you just did a set downstairs for the DJ Wogs over here with Point Black. How did it go? Went really well. It was really fun to go back to the uh, warm-up stuff that I used to do before all of this razzmatazz. So it was good fun to build into the thing that I'm doing now. I love doing that sort of thing. So I'm assuming you have already DJed at Egg London before, right? I have, yeah. I think it was in March. I played for Circus, which is Yusuf's brand in Liverpool. That was really good fun to play in there. I played in the uh, upstairs room, I think it was Terrace. Mm. It was really good, really good so fun. Good. If you had to choose like um, a club in London to DJ at, what is your favourite club? It's fabric. It's really fabric <laughs> Fa well, Fabric's actually open, reopening in January time. Are we hoping to see you in the lineup for that? We'll see, I suppose. It'd be, be nice, it'd be nice to do. Really nice to do. Fingers crossed, right, yeah. Uh, so you have just won the best remix for Freak Like Me. What is that track done for you? A lot. Like, it, it's took me out of my bedroom, like seven years of trouble and toil in my bedroom, working away on music to actually finally getting out in the clubs and getting picked up for things, which is what everybody aspires to do. You know, it's the best way to break out is to have that one breakout track. It is completely different to the sort of music that you're working on at the moment, right? Yeah, it is massively different, but it was one of those things, like, it was a... Uh, it was kind of a, a dairy joke at the time between me and my friend where he, like, he challenged me to do something with a piece of audio, which is why it was so candid, which, you know. But it's so popular though, it's so popular. It's with one of those things, like it just uploaded it to SoundCloud and straight away hit the download limit and then the, the players were, were going up and going up and going up and then Defected got in touch. Oh, what was that feeling when like, you saw this all going? Like, did, you, did you think it was real? Was it a bit unbelievable for you? It wasn't so much the uh, the track getting plays and downloads that shocked me. It was when the Marco Corolla video went up and I woke up after a solar night, which is a party that I'm a resident for up near home. I woke up from a solar night, still half caught, <laughs> and just looking at my phone with one eye and somebody tagged me in the video, you know, saying like, is this, yeah. your, is this the, the edit that you've just done with that? I was just like, <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> that's crazy. That's so good. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, Christmas is coming up. Are you really busy around this period? Really busy. It's a really busy period for parties and DJs. So I've got uh, two on Boxing Day, which is one at Motion in Newcastle, which is Patrick Toppin's night. Then I've got one in Middlesbrough with Derek Carter for Riff Raff, which is one of my favourite brands to play for in my hometown as well. And also on the 28th, I'm at Solar Night, which I just mentioned is the party I'm a resident for. And then at New Year's Eve, I'm back in London for Eastern Electrics. At studio oh, wow. he's in electric, that's so good, right? Do you not miss, though, a bit of, like, you know, Christmas dinner and all that, like, the time to chill and stuff, or...? I've still got those days. <laughs> like, I've still, got, I've still got a good, like, 11 days off between Christmas, so I'm going to go on holiday Aww. with my girlfriend at Berlin. And, you know, I'll have Christmas Day and uh, Christmas Eve off, which will be nice to just chill out and, you know, do life. Now, uh, 2017 is obviously just around the corner. Uh, what is in store for you? So far, I've got a release coming out on Circus, which is a single on the... I can't remember the name of the compilation, but it's only a four-track compilation with big artists on it. It's going to be a really good compilation. And I've also got a track on Elrose BBM compilation, mm -hmm. which I'm looking forward to. And then for the rest of the year, it's all just a little bit hush, hush. You know how it goes. Secret, secret. Uh, so, Freak Like Me, you did a collaboration with KTB, right? If you could pick any pop star, because some of these DJs, top DJs, are uh, collaborating with pop stars, who would you choose? Okay, fair enough. I'm not collaborating with anybody at the moment for the record, okay. just so that everybody knows. But CeeLo Green would probably be the person I went to. That would be really interesting. It would, just because like when I listened back to my youth and when all the Niles Barkley and the St. Elsewhere album came out and stuff like that, it was like a really big influence on my, you know, the way that I understood music. So to work with CeeLo would be massive. Well, hopefully he is watching this. That would be great, right? <laughs> uh, there's a few questions that I want to ask you for point blank, right? Um, so first of all, if there was a plug-in that you can't live without... What would it be? It's actually a freeware plugin that I use for my delays. It's got, a, it's got a pitch wheel on it, which you can map to your pitch dial. So when you flick the pitch wheel, it just goes faster and slower, like an old tape delay. If I didn't have that, I don't think anything that I did would sound anywhere near as good as it does. In terms of advice, what would you give to uh, people starting out in the industry? Just don't, don't give up, get out and start networking with people. Like, people underestimate the, you know, the importance of knowing people. And I know it's all, you know, it's not what you know, it's who you know and all that stuff, but it's true. It really is true. It's hard to break out of just sitting in your bedroom because you could be the best in the world, but if nobody ever hears you do anything, nobody's ever going to know that you're the best in the world. So just get out and about, get your music to people and play to people. Okay. Thank you so much. Right, quick one, right? We've got a quick far question round, right? No hesitation, you've got to go straight in with it, okay? Are you ready? Right, okay. Uh, where was your first gig? 
First gig, Jesus Christ. Uh, ooh, it was at Uncle Albert in Middlesbrough. Okay. Uh, if you had a movie, who would play you as the nap? Jesus Christ. Kevin James. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if you had to switch to a different music genre, what would it be? Hard house. If you had to switch um, from DJing, what, top, uh, what job would you do? Uh, going to acting, I think. Going to acting, nice. Yeah. Um, in terms of DJing, uh, what is the most important thing, track selection or technical ability? It's a mixture of both, you can't pick one or the other. Ooh, okay, where's the greatest city in the world? Greatest city in the world, so far that I've visited is London. I thought you were about to say Berlin then, but it's <laughs> right. Um, what was the first record you ever bought? First record I ever bought was a Makina record, which is a very unknown music style. Craziest thing that a fan has ever done for you? Uh, asked me to sign something. Sign what? It was a t-shirt, I think. Oh. Damn it, I thought it was going to be really, like, you know, juicy then. No, no, it's definitely not juicy. <laughs> it's a t-shirt and it was a bloke, so... Oh. <laughs> okay, then. We'll move swiftly onwards. Uh, what is the strangest thing in your rider? Strangest thing in my rider? There's really nothing strange in my rider. Nothing at all. No. Beer. No, oh, I was going to say, no cravings or anything? No, 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 no peanuts, no coconut no. water, nothing, nothing like that. No, just beer. If the world was to end tomorrow, uh, what would you do tonight? Probably stick around around here for a while. You just have it large. Yeah, That's it, why not? Just get drunk all the way through. Yeah. Wicked, yeah. <laughs> um, if you could work with an artist, dead or alive, who would it be? Dead or alive? Yeah. Oh, that's massive. Whew. Michael Jackson. What is the most valued possession you have? My television. <laughs> is it a big one? Uh, it's a big telly, but it's, it's just, you know, it's new to me, so it's, just, oh. it's really valuable right now. It's, it's a baby! <laughs> Wicked. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here at the DJ Awards. Um, Lee Walker.